Okay, so um, I was up today about 6.30, um, which was different than yesterday when I was up about 1 a.m. Um, that's something that's normal for me. Um, things cycle around like that. Um, I'll be awake for 20 hours, 25 hours, and then sleep a few hours. And Every day when I wake up, it's at a completely different time. When I go to bed, it's at a completely different time. Um, I, I couldn't imagine living any other way. Um, to me, that means freedom um, to uh, set your own schedules, um, to just sleep when you're tired, wake up when you're not. Um, it's a level of freedom that most people probably couldn't even really seriously contemplate, um, which maybe makes you think a little bit about um, the nature of the society that we live in. But that's it for today. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow will be up at 10 a.m. I, I have no idea. Um, I spent most of, uh, well, I spent all of last night um, uh, teaching myself um, the basics of video editing. It, it turns out it was relatively intuitive. Um, once I got a few I sort of kinks out of the way, um, I don't think that'll be a long process um, in further days. Um, but it means I didn't get any um, troubleshooting done last night. Um, that's going to be what I'm going to be doing today. I hope to have finally an answer um, one way or the other within the next 24 hours. So that's what I'll be doing most of the day. Um, one of the things I wanted to add into my little blog though is, or my vlog is um, a, a bit of a, a culinary aspect um, because um, I make a lot of interesting foods. Um, some people tend to be offset by a lot of it. Um, some people find it looks interesting and delicious. Um, it's one of those things where it's um, going to be uh, maybe a little bit um, divisive. Um, so that's um, really going to be the focus of that this morning. Um, like I say, I'm not really doing anything today except focusing on uh, the troubleshooting aspect. So I tend to only eat once a day, um, but I have usually two meals at the same time. Um, so you could say I eat twice a day, but at the same time. Um, th there's two components to this. Um, the meal component varies, but I always have um, a smoothie with it, which kind of functions as the breakfast part of it. So I eat breakfast and lunch at the same time, or breakfast and supper at the same time. Um, and it's usually a few hours from when I wake up. So um, what I'm going to focus on today is just the breakfast part of it, just the smoothie. Um, I don't want to get this thing gunked up with banana junk, so um, i got to figure out how to do this. Um, probably better if I could just cut it first and then put it in after. So those are the basic ingredients. Um, you can see that's why I focused so much on the strawberries. Yesterday, um, it's one banana, five strawberries, two scoops of ice cream, and um, it's usually about 400, 500 milliliters of soy milk. So um, that's uh, incredible amounts of vitamins and nutrients. Um, to ensure that I get that every morning is um, a big part of making sure that I get all of the chemicals that my body requires to function as it must. Um, I don't want to get the banana junk, so I'm going to turn this off again. Okay, so there is the um, smoothie with the stuff in it. I haven't I haven't blended it yet. Um, I forgot to mention the ice cream is cherry ice cream, um, usually. I will usually use um, fresh strawberries um, and cherry ice cream, but sometimes I might use fresh cherries and strawberry ice cream. Depends on various things. Um, that is what is left. Um, just a few strawberry... Um, Pops, um, and um, some cut up banana peels. Um, now what I do with this is important. Um, it's something that everybody should do. Um, I, I don't care what your excuse is, you should be doing this. Um, I take it and I cut it up um, for the people so that they don't have to do it. And then I drop it in a giant bag here um, for compost. Um, I'm just going to put this down for two seconds so we can get that out.
those banana peels, they stick to the plate there. Um, but yeah, so, and then what I do is I take it and I put the uh, lid back on. Actually, I'm going to put this down for again for a second. Just putting the tie in, and then I put it in the freezer, okay? It's putting it, that's the part that people freak out about. They say, well, I would compost, but, you know, I don't want, you know, a bucket of rotting banana peel sitting in my kitchen. You know, it's, you get mice or roaches or any other disgusting thing, um, bacteria in the air, all kinds of, you know, and, and, and you, know, that, you know what, that's a valid concern. In fact, when I first started doing this, the reason I put it in the freezer was not to compost. It was because I didn't want it sitting in a garbage bag under the sink because I knew there were a couple of bugs in here from time to time. Um, so it was really more of a process of actually trying to put the waste in a place where it wasn't accessible to pests and critters um, of all sorts. Um, I, I, I mean, that that's... I mean, you, do you have a freezer? If you have a freezer, then you don't have, a, have an excuse not to do that. Um, the other thing people will say is, well, I, I don't have a garden. I, I don't run a compost. Uh, where am I going to put it? Um, if you take a look around, I don't care where you live, you will find somebody that wants your compost. Um, I give it to, um, it's, a, it's a youth group um, of... Um, they identify as a youth group of Muslim women. I don't know how um, how important the religious aspect is to it. Um, and to be honest with you, I would prefer to give it to a secular group. But they're doing this. Um, and what they do is they take the compost. Um, they put it in their community garden. They grow tomatoes. And then they give those tomatoes to homeless people or other people that need tomatoes. Um, I don't know if, you ever, if you've ever used a food bank. Um, it'll feed you. You know, it'll stop you from starving to death. But you don't get things like fresh tomatoes or, you know, fresh green peppers. Uh, if you're lucky, you might get, a, a you know, a month-old pineapple that's, you know, on the, on the edge of rotting or something. It's mostly canned food, right? Um, and it will prevent you from dying, um, but it's not... You know, it's better to get people proper nutritious food, right? Um, so that's what they do, is they just take people's compost, um, they donate it to them, um, and then they grow tomatoes for people that need food. Um, and like I say, there's somebody, wherever you live, I don't care where you live, somebody is doing something like that. Um, and if nobody is doing like anything like that, if you live in, you know, the, the worst place in the world, if we're, where there's nobody doing anything like that, then do it yourself. Um, it, it's... The the alternative is to take all of that valuable organic material and throw it in a landfill where it's being contaminated with, you know, the styrofoam that's not going to decompose for centuries and, you know, rusted metal garbage and all kinds of other trash that... I mean, this is organic material. You know, there's a carbon cycle, there's other cycles... But if we take all of the useful organic material that we have and we put it in a landfill, we're eventually, over time, going to have severe difficulties growing food. We need to find ways to recycle this. It's, it, it's important. Um, and you should be doing this. Um, I understand you don't want a compost container uh, in, in, in your kitchen. Put it in your freezer um, and, and transport it somewhere. Um, I understand that you don't have a garden. Find someone that does. Um, it's really something that takes no time on your behalf, but, but, but really, it, it, if everybody started doing this, it would make a huge difference. You know, even if you just give it to farmers. Um, you know, there's farmers around that will take it, that want it. Um, um, yeah, so that's my uh, rant today is about uh, compost. But let me um, go ahead and blend my smoothie. Actually, this is a two-hand job, so I'm not going to get that on film. 
And there we go, one delicious banana strawberry cherry ice cream vanilla soy milk smoothie. Um, again, the bananas and strawberries are good for uh, vitamin C, um, potassium, other minerals and vitamins. Uh, the soy milk is fortified with everything from iron to protein. Um, and the, the ice cream, the reason I put the ice cream in there is for fat content. Um, I don't get a lot of fat in my diet. Um, I know most people are concerned about reducing the fat in their diet, but you know maybe they should eat less cheeseburgers kind of thing. Um, for me, I'm actually more concerned about making sure that I get enough fat, and especially enough animal fat, because I don't get a lot of it. Um, so I will take that over to my TV and I will watch my Brookings Institute video, um, and maybe I'll get a little bit more shots in um, uh, with me fixing um, my headphones. Okay, so thankfully I believe that I have finally figured out um, the last remaining issue that I had to deal with. Um, this is a problem that I've been fighting with for months. Um, I, I was having some software issues, um, and I've done a bunch of things that have fixed it on the software side. I'm not going to talk about that here. Um, a few days ago, though, I was fairly convinced that I was getting a clean signal out of the computer, which meant that the remaining signal um, problems were related to um, something on the final end of the hardware part of it. Um, I, I guess I'll show you how this normally comes out. Um, the signal would normally come out of the computer um, around here um, and connect to this Firewire mixer via Firewire um, and then come out um, in one of two ways. Um, there's a headphone jack on the, on the mixer which would be the cleanest signal um, or there is an RCA out which I would normally send into this um, stereo amplifier. Now, um, and then now we use the headphone out on the, on, on the stereo amp. Now, um, there's two reasons why I prefer to do it like that. The first is that there's actually two sound cards in the machine, so they're both hooked up to the amp, and I can just switch back and forth using uh, the tape monitor. Um, the, the second reason, and, and, and really the, the, the more important reason, is because the mixer um, heats up quite a bit. Um, which means that the metal plug um, conducts quite a bit of heat. Um, you know, and I'm kind of leery about um, leaving it in for long periods because, uh, you know, it heats up and then that heats up the cord um, and it may either warp the output or even damage the cord. So I, I tend to avoid that. Um, I, I, I want to send it through the stereo out. Uh, sorry, it's through the stereo amp. Um, so I was pretty sure I was getting a clean signal out of the computer. But the last remaining kind of issue I was noticing was that there was a kind of a fade, not at the really highs, like not symbols high, but I, I, but but relatively high. Um, so at, at the point where, um, you know, you would I, I would lose kind of the the, the sparkle on the guitars, um, you know, reverb effects, um, uh, modulation effects. Uh, some of the keyboards were mixed down a little bit lower and even just some of the clean guitars. So I'm guessing it was, you know, somewhere around 8,000 hertz or so. It just seemed to kind of drop out. Um, but I was able to fix it relatively easy, easily by just unplugging this, taking the cord out, replugging it in like this, and then putting it back in. Um, which indicated to me that there's either an issue with the physical connection um, on the cord to the plug, or there's an issue with the plug to the amp. Um, now, because I've been playing with this for so long, and I've tried so many things, and so many have seemed like they worked but didn't, I had to be really like strictly logical about it, right? So I, I had to test it by taking that connector, just like that, just like as it is, and plugging it into the headphone. That would allow me to determine if the issue was the amp or if the issue was the connection. Um, if it was the connection, then I would expect um, it to continue to display the same thing. If it was the amp, I would expect that to fix it. Um, it turns out that I was getting the same result um, with this like this, and it was the same thing I could fix it just by resetting it, right? So that suggests that it's either that this plug is somehow damaged or that it's the tip here that is somehow damaged, right? The way to fix that would be to try with another, sorry, the way to test that would be to try with another plug. So I did that, 
pop that in and then out of the headphone amp headphone out plug in like that and the fade went away I was getting clean signals it sounds like it's perfect I still need to do a little bit of testing there is a possibility that I may have just fluked out with a with a with the way it was sitting um, if that's the case then it's broken right now probably because I probably didn't find the same space again um, that's something that I would need to know anyways right and if that's the case then I, I am left with one only one option and that is that the cord um, is somehow broken um, that's not irresolvable because these particular headphones um, they, they snap out and I can replace the cord for about ten dollars so that's not such a big deal um, but you know I gotta know that it's that before I do that right so I still have a little bit of testing left to do to make sure that it's that um, in fact now that I reset it I'm going to want to check it through the mixer again make sure that it's sitting fine and if that's okay then I want to test it through the amp again um, and make sure that's okay and then at that point I'm if, if, if that all works out I'm content that the signal um, I'm getting is clean if not then I'm gonna have to conclude that I need to replace my headphone cords um, I'm still not home free yet um, because I know that one of the things that was modifying the drivers was actually opening Cubase um, just simply the act of opening Cubase seemed to screw the drivers up somehow um, I, I'm pretty sure that I had um, isolated that to an issue with uh, with a Windows driver called the Microsoft Streaming Service Proxy um, I had disabled that as a part of my install script um, I, I think that reinstalling that resolved it um, but that's something else I will need to check um, once I'm absolutely certain that the cord issue is resolved um, but, but but once I've done that then I'm once I'm sure about the cord I can at least be certain that what I'm dealing with is entirely software related and I can address it um, on the basis of being sure that I'm dealing with software and not with hardware um, so that that's um, a, a big step um, in dealing with something that I've been I, I've been dealing with this since the middle of July um, it's now the end of October so it's a long time um, with a broken system um, I am pretty sure I did fix some driver issues um, and, and some other issues um, but you know because I've been through this so much and I've been so close so often I can't be certain that I'm there yet but I think I am um, if I am then um, I should hopefully actually get some recording um, I get back to some recording starting tomorrow um, or maybe the next day because I have to make some phone calls tomorrow um, and that may take some time um, and I, I think that's probably it for the vlog today um, that's about all I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day is, is verifying that um, and um, it'll probably be just editing and sleeping afterwards so that's it, later